we learned last week that the vaccine doses we thought were in reserve at the federal government did not apparently exist, so that was quite disappointing. Mayor Greg Fisher is hopeful the lack of a federal reserve will not impact vaccine supply in Louisville. During his weekly coronavirus update on Tuesday, Metro Health Director Dr. Sarah Moyer said there is a chance the city may have to cancel some appointments if they do not receive enough doses. The mayor is hopeful there will be more options coming soon. In a couple months, we hope that there's some more uh, different vaccines other than Pfizer and Moderna approved as well. So it looks good when you look at a couple months, but that doesn't make you any happier today when you can't get the vaccine. But I think for the citizens of Louisville, what they need to know is that our ability to vaccinate is quickly surpassing the amount of vaccines coming in here to the city. Currently, Louisville receives 10,000 doses per week. Metro health officials say more than 30,000 people in Jefferson County have received the first dose, and more than 2,000 have been vaccinated with the second. With the current vaccine supply, health officials say it will take 10 weeks or longer to vaccinate 100,000 people in the 70 and older group. Meanwhile, Dr. Moyer says Louisville is still seeing a surge in cases, and everyone needs to watch out for symptoms. We had a high of about 45,000 tests happening a week in November and only 22,000 last week. Um, so any new symptoms, please get tested. If you've been around anyone that is positive, um, please get tested about five days after your contact with them. She also recommends anyone working outside the home, going to the grocery store, dining at restaurants, going to church or traveling to get tested. Even though the vaccination process is underway, Moyer says it's important to remain vigilant because it could take months or longer to build herd immunity. Please remember that the most common initial symptoms that people are seeing are fatigue, headache, runny nose and cough. Um, and then loss of smell and taste are other symptoms frequently reported. Jennifer Bayless, WLKY News.